Hi everyone, Coach Ewan here. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. Uh, it's been so encouraging to myself, um, the other coaches, and I'm sure all the members, just to see everyone come together and take this challenging time head on. Um, we're still getting our fitness in, we're still interacting with each other, um, we're doing the best we can with what we have. So that's been really awesome to see you guys. So keep it up, keep posting, keep joining our classes, um, and as always, please send feedback on anything we're doing here. So that's that being said, we're going to move on to today's workout, which if I may say so myself, is going to be a fun one. Um, we're going to start off with that question of the day, um, and then we're going to move in to a warm-up, which is a five-minute AMRAP of 10 jumping jacks into 10 in and outs, five push-up down dogs, straight into five toe taps, and then five plank to the bottom of your squat, otherwise known as bottom half burpees. Um, I will go through all these movements um, for you. We will then move into a pre-wad, um, which is just two movements which are really going to focus on kind of warming up the muscles that we'll be using for the workout today. We have three rounds for quality, starting with an upper body movement, which is 10 hand release push-ups. The scaling option here will be 10 hand release push-ups on your knees. And then we're going to do 10 one and a quarter um, goblet squats. Um, which are going to warm up the lower half of our body. Um, we're going to use weight here if we can, um, scaling options being less weight um, or the body weight as well. This will set us up perfectly for our workout. Our wad today is called Pants on Fire. Um, it's going to be four time and has a 12 minute time cap. It's going to go like this. We're going to do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 air squats, but after each set of air squats, we're going to do 10 devil's presses. So what that's going to look like is we'll do 10 air squats, followed by 10 devil presses, into 20 air squats, another 10 devil presses, 30 air squats, 10 devil presses, etc. For today, the air squats are just going to be body weight movements, um, whereas the devil's press, which I'll show everyone, is going to be with one heavy object, dumbbell, kettlebell, or plate. Um, or if we have the lighter options, we can go with two lighter dumbbells or two lighter kettlebells. If we have no equipment, then we can just substitute burpees. Um, there is a caveat to this workout. As I said, it is a 12 minute time cap. If we finish before the time cap, then we must hold a plank um, until that 12 minute time cap is reached for everyone. We will then rest two minutes and cash out with a max effort wall sit. It's gonna be a good one guys, I promise. So now to get into those movements here. First of all, for our warm up. We're going to get 10 jumping jacks into 10 in and outs, keeping that chest nice and high, touching the ground, pushing up through the feet there into five push up to down dog. Getting a good stretch of the calves at the top. From the side here, <laughs> sorry about that, stretch at the top, right into five toe taps, alternating left hand to right foot, right hand to left foot, and then plank to the bottom of the squat. Want to stay nice and active here, and then back to a plank, core is nice and tight, into the bottom of a squat. From the front, 
top of the plank, bottom of the squat. Again, that's going to be a five minute M rep for the warm up. Now for our pre warm movements. We're going to start with those hand release push ups. We have 10 of them. Our hands are going to be about shoulder width apart. Our hands and shoulders are stacked in a good straight line. Our core is nice and tight, it's engaged. Um, we're kind of squeezing our butt to help that um, keep that core tight. And from here, we're sending our elbows back to the wall, keeping our arms nice and close together. Chest to the floor, release the hands, re-engage that core, and push up. From the side, again, hands shoulder width apart, elbows going as directly back as we can, releasing the hands, re-engaging the core to push back up. The re-engagement of the core is the kind of key um, point of performance for the hand release push-up. The scaling option there is, first of all, we can start <laughs> we can start on our feet going down, come to our knees as we release, and push up on our knees, or we can just go on the knees for the whole time. That's going to be for 10. And then we have 10 one and a quarter goblet squats. If we have a dumbbell, we can have that in the front rack position. Hip, um, our feet are kind of hip, um, hip width stance or our jumping stance as we like to squat. Our feet, our tripod, our big toe, little toe and heel is on the ground. We're going down, chest nice and tall to the bottom of our squat. We're going up a quarter, going back down to that full bottom of the squat and pushing up. That is one. We want to, for always with the squat, our knees are tracking our toes the whole time. Staying out and pushing up from the side. If we even if we don't have dumbbells, it's exactly the same. Hips back and down, knees tracking toes to the bottom of our squat. Up about a quarter to a half. Down and back up. So that is our pre wad. 10 hand release push ups, followed by 10 one and a half goblet squats for three rounds of quality. Next, the movements for our workout air squat, just as we've been talking about. I just explained that with the goblet squat, but again, feet are about hip or jumping with stance. We're going to send our hips back and down, keeping our chest up and tall, knees tracking toes the whole time, and we're pushing up. Squeezing our butt at the top, like so. Now for the devil press. As I mentioned in the beginning, if we have one heavy dumbbell or one heavy kettlebell or one heavy plate, We'll be using one item. What the devil? And I will just show you before explaining here. So the devil's press, I like to think of it as a burpee into a kettlebell swing. So. With that one heavy dumbbell or heavy kettlebell, we're going to have it hand shoulder width apart, starting in that burpee, in the bottom here, 
we are swinging it overhead. And then we can switch it on the way down. Here, my hips are back, chest is tall, and I'm squeezing my butt, exploding my hips to get that overhead. That is if we have one. If we have two lighter dumb, we can also do that with a kettlebell. Um, if we need, we can also use a plate where we do, if we pretend this is a plate, we do our burpee behind the plate, pick the plates up overhead. Again, burpee behind the plate, grab the plate and get it overhead. If we are using two lighter kettlebells or two lighter dumbbells, it is very similar, starting in that shoulder width position that we used for the hand release push-ups, going down into the bottom of the squat, using our hip drive to get them overhead. Again, burpee to the bottom of the squat. We're engaging our glutes and our hamstrings here. Chest tall, snapping our hips to power those dumbbells overhead. And there from the last movement is gonna be the wall sit. So look, give me a second here as I change to the wall. For the wall sit, what we want to focus on here is keeping our lower back against the wall the whole time. From there, my feet are just as I would in a squat, hip or jump width stance. We're bending down, our shoulder, shoulders are back and down, and my lower back is firmly on the wall. From here, I can already feel my legs burning, um, but my feet are firmly on the floor. That tripod that I talked about earlier, big toe, little toe, heel, are firmly on the floor as if I'm spreading a piece of paper apart. My legs are nice and engaged. I'm engaging my core, taking deep breaths, but my back, lower back is against that wall. It's a fun workout today, guys. Have at it. I can't wait to see you all in the virtual classes and seeing you guys post that score on Zen Planner. Take care. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or any of the coaches, and we'll get back to you with those answers. Take care. Have a good day.